So I've got a very old Graco or ASM uh, sprayer. They're both exactly the same thing, obviously, but just slightly different um, specs, which differentiates Graco from ASM. Uh, customer saying that he's got no pressure buildup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the pump from this unit and then open up the pump and show you what, what could possibly be happening or what is happening and how to remedi remedy it. So this is going to be a slightly long video because it's going to be um, in real time and we'll just go through and see how to remove this pump and what, what's happening with it. <laughs> So first thing I'm going to do is get access to the piston rod. So this piston rod's got a pull pin. I'm not sure if that's clear or not, but there is a pull pin there. And I'll pull that pin out. And it's just held in with the spring. Next I'll undo the hose at the back that's holding it in place. Okay. And finally I'll punch out the locking nut which is positioned just down there. Might be able to bring the camera down low enough to show it. It's just that one there. So we'll knock that out. Just using a punch and a hammer. And from here I should be able to remove the whole pump. There we go. And while I do that, the piston will slide down from the front. This is the, like I said, this is the older pumps. The newer pumps don't have, uh, they're not as complicated or as yeah, complicated is the word. Alright, so now that it's all threaded out, I should be able to drop it. Now what I'll do, is I'll put it up on my bench vise, and I'll pull this apart individually. Pause that. Okay. So I'm going to remove the upper and lower parts of the pump. I've got it on the vise because this is an old pump. It'll be very hard to try and do it while it's still assembled. So that's the lower off. And now we'll remove the piston and we'll be able to inspect the packing completely. Just going to lose loosen this so I can get the piston through without any further damage to the upper packings. Okay, and I should just be able to drop that out. And automatically we can see where on what the damage is. We've got a very bad uh, set of packings. Bring this camera out so we can get a better view. Yep, so that packing is no good. I'll have a quick inspection of the piston rod for scoring or waving, which is just wear and tear in one area. And uh, there's a camera there. You can I think you should be able to, to make out the scoring in that piston rod. So this one is going to need a set of packings, a piston rod, and I'll just inspect the housing itself to see if there's any scoring of the actual uh, housing and I'm not sure if you can see that but it's very wavy on the inside which means that it's no longer a smooth finish so this is pretty much a full pump replacement and or rebuild um, 
if I was to just go ahead and replace the packings, I would get it to work, but it would only be for a very short amount of time before it completely did it again. So, there's a little demonstration of how to disassemble a pump and how to inspect your components. Ali from Westbury Airless, till the next one, take care.